I was watching TV on Monday and, and I saw the trailer for this new movie called No Good Deed. Um, on further research on IMDb, I soon found out the movie stars Taraji P. Henson and Idris Elba. And what I saw in the trailer for this movie was thoroughly disturbing. Um, in the first few frames of the film were shown this black man assaulting what appears to be a white woman. And then later on in the trailer, he's shown terrorizing a black woman. Um, these are images that we really have to watch out for because what they are perpetuating is the image of the black brute. Um, the black brute is an old racist stereotype from the antebellum South and Jim Crow. Um, if you want more information about the black brute, I suggest you head over to the Ferris State University Jim Crow Museum website and it will tell you all about the black brute. Um, but what I saw in this film was, again, a black brute on television, live, in front of me, on film. And this, this is very disturbing, especially when you think about the situation that's going on right now with, in Ferguson regarding Michael Brown, um, the incident here in New York with um, Eric Garner, and the situation with Trayvon Martin a couple, about a year or two ago. Um, for Hollywood to put this film out, uh, the timing, it's not a good time for this type of film. It never was a good time for this type of film. But it shows you the trend of breathing new life into these old stereotypes. Um, this film is not going to help the image of black men. What it's going to do is it's going to further perpetuate this stereotype image of this violent, savage black man who terrorizes his community, who terrorizes communities, and is a menace to society. And we really don't need this image right now, especially in this polarized period with um, what's going on in Ferguson and what is going on right here in New York and Staten Island, and what continues to go on, because this black brute stereotype is something that has been a part of American culture for a long time, and it's sadly it's being reinforced by white liberal media. And this kind of movie is set, we don't need this type of movie right now, and we, we never needed this type of movie. And the sad part is we're seeing these stereotypes perpetuated on a regular basis, and sadly even being reinforced by some of these dysfunctional African American Negroes out here with things like the knockout game. And all of this propaganda is meant to malign the image of black men, um, to perpetuate this negative image of black men. And sadly, there's nothing out here really to counter it in the mainstream media. Um, you can find, you might be able to find some images of positive black men from publishers like myself and other people, but we don't have the spotlight. And it's, it's films like this that hit the mainstream media and are going to cause a lot of problems for black men. Um, just seeing this film's trailer, it, it's it's part of it's part of that disturbing trend I've been seeing in the media for the last 14 years. Um, this perpetuation of old old Jim Crow stereotypes in brand new packages, um, and these brand new stereo repackaged stereotypes only further give fuel to the fire of the George Zimmermans and the enablers of George Zimmerman and other people who um, have these views about black men. And it gives them ammunition. And black folks, we can't put media out here like this. We can't promote media like this with our image in it. That's why I say it's important for black people to control their image and to protect their image because when pictures like this come out, and they feature black men or black people in a negative light, it reinforces ideas in people's heads. And when you're the minority, it can be quite detrimental to your health and safety. I mean, in Jim Crow, when these images were presented, it led to more lynchings. It led to more black men being killed and 
viciously assaulted and it gave people excuses and justifications for their behavior. White people were excuses for their behavior. They felt it was okay because this Negro, as they saw him, was a beast. They saw him as a savage who had depraved indifference to human life. And because he has depraved indifference to human life, people didn't have to have any value of, of his life. And the whole thing was, he was basically like an animal. And that's what they were saying with the black group. The black man is like an animal. And that's why you shouldn't be watching media like this. And you shouldn't let your children watch media like this because the perpetuation of these stereotypes is destructive to them. I mean, I look at what happened with this thug over the last 20 years, this false image, uh, which fuses the brute and the coon caricatures from Jim Crow into one thing, and how that destroyed an entire generation, how we had young black males buying into this false image, and they lost... We lost a lot of young brothers who could have achieved something because they bought into this false stereotype. And again, this is why I feel people we I feel that people need to really watch the media that they imbibe. They have to, especially black people, we really have to watch what we feed our minds because what we feed our minds can either make us healthy or it can poison us. A lot of the media that is being presented out here from non-black sources, especially the big six oligarchy, are designed to destroy black people and to perpetuate negative images of black people. I mean, we see brutes um, not only in movies like No Good Deed, but we see them on our evening news. We see them in our magazines. We see them throughout American media, and this is not good for black people. This image is not good for, does not help black people. And we need to start trying to put counter images out there. And that's one of the things I try to do is I try to put counter images out there. And because we really, because I feel that as a publisher, I have to fight to um, counter these images of these stereotypes such as this black brute, the mammy, um, the Jezebel, the coon, um, the thug, and the super negro, David Carroll talked about, um, I, we, these images have to be countered and they have to be refuted. And we have to get out here and we, as black people, we have to start supporting people who want to promote images that do not fit this stereotype. Um, because all these images that are put in media follow a narrative and if you really look at again like David Carroll talked about in his videos um, media that they put out in mainstream media all fits a narrative um, the narrative of this white liberal and I'd say white supremacy the, the whole narrative of their narrative is that the black man is a violent savage and that he either needs to be imprisoned or murdered and that's what this movie pretty much puts an example of, that he's terrorizing white women. First he terrorizes the white woman, and he's in prison for this, and now he's going down to the black community to terrorize the black woman, further reinforcing the stereotype that this black man is a beast, a savage, a monster, and none of this is true. I mean, if we look at history, white supremacy, the white man is actually a beast, a savage, and a monster. And if you study psychology, it looks like he's actually projecting his dysfunction onto black people. And that's what I look at these images in the Antebellum South. It really was a, a psychological projection of white people's own feelings about themselves onto black people. And black people do not seem to take this image off of themselves because that's not who black people are. If we look at the history, um, who was the biggest sexual deviant, who was the biggest violent predator throughout history? It was white people. And who perpetuates and transmits this culture of violence and savagery? Um, American white people. No other country in the world has the highest violence rate except America. And 
white Americans are the most violent people in the world. But the way this media project, projects these images, they make you think that it's only black people who are the mass of society. Again, it goes back to my old argument about racism and codependency and the d deep psychological damage that many Americans refuse to acknowledge. And that's what these images show us, that this projection of violence and this savage image, Shemesh imagery, this comes from a severely dysfunctional way of thinking and dysfunctional mindset that many of these um, white people have. And that's why they think that it's black people, but it's not black people. It comes from them, and this is the source of it. And the only thing I can tell black people to do is to not watch movies like this. I know that black movies are hard to, hard to come by on screen, but we have to start looking at the content of the material and how it represents us and how it presents us to society. Um, you just can't keep blindly supporting stuff like this, movies like this No Good Deed and other movies like The Help and Precious and Monsters Ball because all those films present images of black people that make white supremacists comfortable. And that's why they like to present these type of movies and things like 12 Years a Slave. This is stuff that they like to see. And this is another film that racists would love to see. This black group running around terrorizing people, um, being extremely violent, being extremely brutal, um, speaking in a profanity-laced dialect. And this is extremely disturbing. Um, it can't, and the only way to stop this type of film, I'd say, is to vote with your wallet. And I'm urging black people to vote with their wallet and to avoid going to these type of movies. Because if you go to these type of movies, all you're doing is sending a message to people to keep making these type of movies and to keep perpetuating stereotypes in society that get men like Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, and Eric Garner killed in real life because it's the perpetuation of these stereotypes that put the ideas in people's heads all over the world that this is how black people are supposed to be. And this is why it's important for us to take control of our image and make efforts to present images of ourselves that are humanized and not caricaturized. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.